Just yesterday, the House of Representatives voted to approve a brand new $412 billion stimulus package, and a huge portion of that money is going directly into the pockets of retirees, seniors, and people with disabilities. This stimulus bill is going to provide one-time $1,400 payments to Social Security, SSI, and SSDI recipients, as well as an ongoing $100 per month boost for low-income seniors on Social Security. It's a massive injection of much-needed cash that's going to make a huge difference in the lives of millions of Americans who have been struggling with rising costs and inflation. In this video, I'm going to break down all the details of this new stimulus package, who qualifies, when the payments will arrive, and how you can best use this extra money to improve your financial situation. This is information that every Social Security, SSI, and SSDI beneficiary needs to know, so make sure you watch all the way through. Let's dive in. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and fourth stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSISDI and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. But before we dive into all the specifics, I want to give a quick reminder to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have your notifications turned on. That way, you'll be the first to know about any other important updates or changes that could impact your benefits and finances. Okay, let's get started. As I mentioned, the big news is that the House of Representatives has just approved a brand new stimulus bill that's going to be providing direct payments to a lot of different groups, including Social Security recipients, SI beneficiaries, and those on SDI. This bill was passed with bipartisan support, and it now heads to the Senate where it's expected to also receive approval in the coming days before being signed into law by the President. The total price tag for this new stimulus package is $412 billion, and the majority of that money is going towards these direct payments to Social Security, SSI, and SSDI recipients. Specifically, the bill allocates $250 billion for one-time, 1,400 direct payments to Social Security recipients, $100 billion for one-time, 1,400 direct payments to SSI and SSDI beneficiaries, $62 billion for additional monthly payments of our own hundred to low-income seniors on Social Security. So as you can see, this is going to be a massive injection of cash into the accounts of millions of Americans who rely on these government benefit programs. And the timing couldn't be better, with inflation continuing to put a squeeze on household budgets and the cost of living rising rapidly. Now, let's break down exactly who is going to be eligible for these new stimulus payments. Starting with the $1,400 one-time checks, all Social Security recipients, including those on retirement, survivors, and disability benefits, will automatically receive the $1,400 payment. All SSI and SSDI beneficiaries will also get the $1,400 payment, regardless of whether they receive Social Security benefits as well. The payments will go to individuals, as well as couples filing taxes jointly. So if you're married and you both receive Social Security or disability benefits, you'll each get a $1,400 payment. There are no income limits or requirements to qualify for these $1,400 checks. As long as you're a Social Security, SSI, or SSDI recipient, you'll get the payment. The additional $100 per month for low-income seniors has a bit more criteria, though. To qualify for this ongoing monthly boost, you must be receiving Social Security retirement benefits. Your total annual income from all sources must be less than $25,000 for an individual or $32,000 for a couple. You'll need to have lived in the United States for at least 10 years. Payments will be means-tested, so higher-income seniors won't qualify. So in summary, the $1,400 one-time checks are going out to pretty much everyone on Social Security, SSI, and SSDI, while the extra $100 per month is targeted specifically at lower-income seniors. Okay, let's talk about the timeline for when these payments will start hitting people's bank accounts and mailboxes. For the $1,400 one-time checks, the IRS and Social Security Administration have said they will begin issuing these payments on September 6th then. 
Most people will receive the checks via direct deposit into the same account where their regular social security or disability benefits are deposited. For those who don't have direct deposit set up, paper checks will be mailed out and could take a few extra weeks to arrive. The Social Security Administration has said they are working hard to get these payments out as quickly as possible, so most people should see the money hit their accounts within the first couple weeks of September. And of course, you don't need to do anything special to receive these funds. They will be distributed automatically to eligible individuals. Now, I know a lot of you are probably wondering how can I use this extra money from the stimulus bill? What are the best ways to maximize the impact of these payments? Well, I've got some tips and suggestions for you. For the $1,400 one-time checks, here are some smart ways you could use that money. Pay down any high interest debts you might have, like credit card balances. This can save you a lot in interest charges over the long run. Build up your emergency savings fund. Experts recommend having three six months worth of expenses saved up for unexpected costs. Make necessary home repairs or upgrades that you've been putting off. This can improve the value and livability of your home. Invest the money for your future, whether that's in a retirement account, stocks, bonds, or other investments. Treat yourself to something you've been wanting, like a new appliance, piece of furniture, or fun experience. You've earned it! And for the additional $100 per month for low-income seniors, this extra money can really help cover the rising costs of essentials like groceries, utilities, and healthcare expenses. You could also use it to pay for things that improve your quality of life, like joining a gym, taking a class, or going on outings with friends and family. Setting aside even a portion of the $100 each month can help you gradually build up your savings over time. If you have any outstanding bills or debts, the monthly payments could be used to pay those down a little at a time. The key is to really think about your specific financial situation and needs and allocate the money in a way that provides the most benefit for you. Don't feel like you have to spend it all at once. These payments can make a big difference when used strategically. First, I want to emphasize again that you do NOT need to take any action to receive these funds. The $1,400 one-time checks and the extra $100 per month will be distributed automatically by the Social Security Administration and IRS. You don't need to fill out any forms or applications. Remember, the government will NEVER contact you and ask for sensitive information like your Social Security number or bank account details in order to send you a stimulus payment. If you receive any suspicious communications, do not respond and report them to the proper authorities. Another important note is that these payments will NOT count as income when it comes to determining your eligibility for other government benefits like Medicaid, food stamps, or Supplemental Security Income, SI. So you don't have to worry about them pushing you over an income threshold and causing you to lose access to those vital programs. And finally, just a quick reminder that this new stimulus bill is still working its way through Congress, so the details could change slightly before it's signed into law. But the core components I've outlined here, the $1,400 checks and the extra $100 per month for low-income seniors are widely expected to remain intact. I'll be sure to provide any updates if anything changes. I hope this information has been helpful in getting you up to speed on this major new stimulus package. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any other important updates. And let me know if you have any other questions, I'm here to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.